In this Google Sheet, I count up the number of tasks that match this project number in this other sheet here. And I average up the completion rate of the tasks that match each project number on the sheet. I've also added conditional formatting to the sheet so that anywhere there's a formula is in orange. When you have a formula that has to repeat all the way down the column, for example, it's always a good idea to consider an array formula. An array formula allows you to write one formula and populate many values. So we're going to take a look at how to change this count if formula and these average formulas into array formulas. So first off, when I'm writing an array formula, my first step is to write the basic formula. And I've done that already by creating a count if formula that looks for this project number in the project data on the other sheet. And that's the word project because we've got a named range. The first thing I want to do after I've written my base formula is wrap it in array formula. I can type it manually or I can use a shortcut. On a Windows computer, it'd be Control, Shift, Enter. On Mac, Command, Shift, Enter. And when you're in the formula bar, it's going to wrap your formula automatically in array formula. Now, the final step to make this array formula work is to expand my range. So in other words, I want to look at the range of project for all of the rows. But the row that I want to expand out is A3. I want to look at all of these down here and populate the total number of tasks for all the projects all the way down. So I'm going to expand A3 to include all of the rest of column A. Once I click Enter, I'm going to see an error because it can expand because I've got formulas in these other cells. So once I remove those formulas, I will see that my count formula populates down. But remember that I have conditional formatting on this sheet and only the first cell is an orange because the formula is only in that top cell. Great things about this now, I can't accidentally delete any of the other values here because they're all populated by this first column. This is the only one where the formula is, so if you need to make change to the formula, it's only one formula to change and the other ones are just the values. Now here in our average formula, one of the troubles with this average or sum, some of the kinds of functions, they don't actually work as array formulas. I'll show you what happens here. If I go ahead and add the array formula and expand out my range, nothing happens. I don't get the error that the other values are in here. And that's because array formula does not work with the sum, sum if, average if, doesn't work with those formulas. So we're going to have to do our formula manually. And I've done that already here, where I sum up all of the projects that match this, sum up the percent for them, and then divide by the number of times this number shows up. So we're doing a manual sum and count to get an average. If we want to turn this into array formula, we've started with our base formula. Next step, wrap it in array formula. So command shift enter or control shift enter. You'll get the array formula wrapping and now we're expanding our ranges. We want to look at the entire rest of column A here. So expand A4 into A4 to A. And the same thing around the last instance of A4, expand it out, hit enter. We'll see the error because it wants to expand it. We'll delete the rest of those values and it will populate out for us. And again, we only see the orange where we actually have the formulas. Array formulas are a very powerful way to have fewer formulas to have to change or fewer formulas that might accidentally get changed.